think I'll drain a little bit. Bugs are bad enough as it is. That's freaking beautiful. Wow, the colors are just so intense. That is something else. Wow. friends welcome back to making freaking clouds with mud flap 16 months since my last video lots of changes since you've seen me last um that was a little bit of a double rainbow we had last year that i had filmed and i haven't really filmed a whole lot just because i just didn't really feel like sharing and nothing was really spectacular going on in the world today so our world anyway so we we're still get along and doing our thing but um Thought I would give an update because it has been 16 months and uh, as you can see, no long hair, beard's gone, a few new tattoos, I'll explain those a little bit later on, but yeah, it's been a, it's been an interesting 16 months. This is our fifth summer here, so, <coughs> I know, excuse me, I know some didn't think we'd make it this long, but uh, there's no way we'd go back to the city, we, we just love it out here, everything is freaking awesome, uh, Works the same for me. Uh, same old plowing the roads in the winter, you know. Lots of butt puckering moments. And uh, Karen, I don't know if in the last videos I had mentioned, she was cleaning the resort, uh, Barney's Resort up at Punsy Lake. They put a logging camp up there now, so she kind of does that too. But other than that, uh, the only real big change, well, we've had a couple changes. My biggest one and the hardest one for me was um, Teddy's gone, my friends. Teddy passed away last July, and uh, that, was, that was freaking hard. I, that was my buddy. He was by my side for everything, and, uh, yeah, it was, was really tough getting going on that. Messed my summer up last year. It was hard getting moving, doing anything. Didn't do any training. Um, yeah, kind of messed with me. It was, it, was, it, was, it was really tough, but, you know, he gave him a good life, and uh, things, are, things are much better now, so... Uh, which I'll explain in a little bit, but um, in my last video, you kind of seen Lindsay growing up. Well, she's two years old now, and we went uh, in June, and hey, or <laughs> we went, went and rescued uh, another dog. So I'm going to intersperse some videos, throw them in here and there, wherever I have footage of certain things I want to show you. But Good night. Did you just get busted? That's midnight. She was adopted at June 1st. We got her to coincide with Lindsay. Look how big she is now. Look how big she got. Yeah, Lindor. And Mitty. Mitty. Midnight. I call her Mitty. There's Oreo behind her. Two big dogs, which are have bonded, thick as thieves. Good going, old girl. You heard barking out here too, didn't you? I did too. I gotta go see what's what's up. What is going on? Why is Mindy barking? Oh, there are my two dogs. That's why they're barking. We got some friendlies across the fence line. Hey, big dogs. Are you hustling the horses? Hi. Hi, my dog. Hey, Midnight. Hi, Midnight. Lindsay. Big dogs. Oh, now they're taking off. All right. They didn't seem to mind when you were in their face, but... This is what these two do all day. They are bond dead. Tess is still with us. Sweet little girl that she is. She's going to be 15 this year. Um, cat situation, you met our two previous cats, uh, Haley and 
Oreo. You still got Mr. Oreo. Hi, Mr. Oreo. You coming for a close-up, too? Huh? He is the dominant cat, the male dominant cat here. He doesn't like Dusty. They fight a little bit, but uh, he's, a, he's a pretty good darn cat. And then our wonderful Haley, which we'll get on video next. And there's my Haley. I told you I don't get to see Haley too often. She's She's got this scratch toy that I found at the share shed, and she just freaking loves it. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Hail Bell. You got a little eye boogie, or is that a piece of cardboard in there? Yeah, you're a good, good kitty, aren't you? Don't worry, I'm not going to get you. Nobody's going to get you. And here we are. This is Outside Kitty. Was Outside Kitty in the last video that you guys seen. That's Dusty. Hi, Dust. Hi. You coming for a close-up? Yeah, this is where she he hangs out. We took him in uh, last November. So we didn't want him to spend another winter outside in the cold. Dusty came in. This is where he hangs out. He's a, not really being appreciated by the other two cats, but he is the most affectionate cat that we have, and he's just a sweetheart. But he likes to hang out in the bedroom. Right, Dusters? Right? Meow. Good, good boy. Good boy, Dusters. We've got three cats, three dogs, and six chickens. We did have seven chickens, but uh, when we got midnight, first day I went in there to uh, check the chickens, midnight scooched in and caught one of the chickens and inadvertently killed it. So now we know that midnight is a bit of a hunter-predator kind of, not predator, but likes to chase. So we, we, we don't allow that anymore. And there's the six chickens. It's waiting for me to fill their water and throw down some scratch. They're loving that. Fill up their containers. And uh, yesterday was uh, apple vegetable day. So today they just get the scratch. And tomorrow they'll get scratch and whatever else we have left over. They really like the watermelon rinds and tomatoes too. Chickens are the weirdest creatures. As you can see, I just filled their water bin. Don't care about that. It's a shitty, dirty water that they've been walking in and washed their feet in. As soon as I dump that out, they're all over that. Same with the inside stuff. Doesn't matter. Throw a little scratch down. I'll pick that out. But they love the freaking dirty water. I don't get it. Oh, well, their eggs are good. So six chickens, six eggs a day, which is barely enough for us. Believe it or not, we thought we'd be able to sell some. But the dogs have one each. Uh, the big dogs have a, a fresh raw egg in the morning with their, with their meat. Or their meal and I usually eat three or four eggs a day myself for protein because I've been training got to keep that up and we went and visited Alex my son who moved to Edmonton last October uh, with his buddy Adam and Adam's dad Dave they're all living together son's doing good uh, it was a nice visit was lucky enough to head there in April last year so we went through the Rockies so I'll throw some pictures of that up uh, after this little uh, venture here and got to go to a tattoo convention too. So That was one of the uh, the new additions, which we'll we'll show you a bit of that too. Um, a lot of people have been wondering about us and the wildfires out here. We are quite lucky. Uh, right behind you there, uh, we have a air tanker base where they fuel up the planes and helicopters, and the firefighters stay on the camp there. So, if there's ever a fire in our area, which there was one just to be on the ridge line back there. I uh, can't remember the name of the lake what was that, but it was about 11 kilometers away. They were right on that that day and put it out. There was also another one, um, Heckman's Pass, which is a couple hours to the west uh, as you head over the coastal mountains. That was a fairly big one. And then the, the ones up north, we were getting a lot of smoke this summer. So 
more so than others. I mean, this is the worst year for fires in BC. Uh, there was over 500 at one point. I think we're sitting a little over 400 right now. And the only other one that was fairly close was on the way to town, the highway by Bull Canyon, which if you've uh, followed me, you've seen some pictures of that before. It was uh, a few kilometers from the highway and I slipped into town one day just to a little earlier than normal just to grab supplies just in case. Hey my friends, how's it going? A little impromptu trip to town today. My first trip to town on a Saturday since I've been out here for in some odd half years. So the only reason I did it was because as you can probably see behind me, there's some fires back there getting close to the highway and you just never know when they're gonna be shut down. So I thought, what the heck, let's get out here and see if we can uh, get some supplies before something happens better to be proactive as for the gardens the greenhouse is going we've got the two gardens outside and that but we had a really freaking weird year this year no nah, i guess we have a weird year every year out here last year was the first summer it was quite warm and we didn't get a lot of or we did get a lot of over 30 degrees it was really really warm i mean we've been lucky this year it's been wet um maybe a week here and there of over 30 but it, it's been really nice I mean it's a rainy day today so we had some frost at the beginning of June and then we had some frost at the beginning of July so we had replanted a couple of times everything got stunted in the greenhouse uh, we've got a few things that are coming up but in general it's not the greatest year for us so live and learn uh, eventually we'll get another greenhouse built but uh, even this year if we would have had another greenhouse I don't think we would have done good anyways because anything we have in the greenhouses didn't really start taking off till the middle of July right so we're only like three weeks from that now so it's going to be a little late in the season oh, there's the gardens raspberries seem to come back nice but uh, yeah it's sparse everything else it's too bad really strawberries seem to have popped this year so that's nice. That's weird. We got rhubarb in the corner there. That started on its own. Peas. Celery. Beets. Doesn't look like the cabbage took. It was that late frost. It fucking killed us. It killed us. Frost at the beginning of July. The dill's looking good. That's asparagus. Beets, carrots, onions are doing good on the far side. But other than that, we did not have a successful year in the garden. I've got about four years worth of wood here, but I like to stay ahead of it. So I went out and start collecting wood for this year. I'd like to get about 15, 16 loads, which you usually do three or four, three cords or so, which is about what I use in a season. Well, it's August 1st. August comes around. That usually means gathering some wood. So probably figure I got four years worth right now but as I'm still healthy and working I thought I'd come and uh, get some while I still can we found this I don't know if it's a slash pile or leftover pile or whatever for chipping up or whatnot but I thought what the hell let's get this uh, this wood thing started get our first load get going on that so tr trucks loaded and we'll come back on the days that Karen's not working and, and get some more wood when we can. I figure if I get about 15 loads, that should do me for uh, another year's worth. So I'd like to have five in the bank just in case something ever happens. You know, you get sick, you get hurt, truck breaks down, whatever. It's always nice to have that wood sitting around. And the only other personal thing uh, besides mental growth and uh, eating well and, and living the good life getting some tattoos when I left you last time I was heading to Kelowna to get some stuff done um, I was supposed to go and get my neck done so I did I got my dragon on my neck and I was supposed to get a patch on my thigh from a gentleman from Brazil but when I was there getting my neck done I got a phone call a gentleman had twisted his back and threw it out and couldn't work the next day which was his last day in Canada so I did not get my appointment but I went back I think it was two months later and got this dragon eye on my hand and got some uh, mushrooms on that side and a rose on that side to kind of fill the neck in so that's kind of filled in uh, I think you've seen the hands are all done now probably get some lettering or something done on the fingers shortly there uh, got the ribs done got my 
fried chicken, chicken smoking a joint. And when I was in Edmonton, did the, the, I, <laughs> I can't, I, I knew I was going to screw this up. Haikigani crab, which is an old Japanese story. If you look it up, kind of interesting how they came to be about and that. But yeah, that's, that's about it. Oh no, no, I did get a pipe on my thigh. So we're working on getting that filled in. We've still got a blank leg, got lots of room left, but. Other than that, my friends, we've just been been living the good life. Uh, lots of pet time, lots of animals, hanging out with Bruder and Adele, our dear friends. Uh, good girl, midnight. Good girl. Ah, there it is. You guys are going you. See, now we can play in the water. <laughs> what are you doing with it? She's in Come the on. water. Oh, yeah, she's in the water. Come. Hi, midnight. Lindsay! What? Let's go! Come on! Lindsay! Come! <laughs> uh, hi! Are you joking? No, I'm swimming, Mom. Nova, come! Come on! Lindsay, come on! without them out here for our companionship and just how much fun we have and getting through the hard times and and just living the good life out here other than that i just thought i'd give you guys an update maybe i'll be a little quicker with my next video and try not to do it every 16 months because i've had quite a few people asking you know how are you doing what's going on because uh I, I mean i have been keeping up on facebook and and, and instagram but not everybody follows me on there and some people just like to see the videos and see what's going on. So other than that, my friends, we're uh, we're chucking and jiving, grooving and, and getting along. So it's time to go out and check my mutts outside because uh, they uh, are free roam on our property out there. They're, they're thick as thieves, those two. So yeah, it's been really nice let you know what's going on and hopefully you guys let me know in the comments uh anything you want to know what's going on or want to see let me know other than that we're just living there as we go be proud of those calls my friends and we will see you later